July 29th, St. Martha. St. Martha was the sister of St. Mary Magdalene and St. Lazarus. We find her in the scriptures three times, twice directly and once indirectly. In the first instance, Martha questions Jesus about her sister, who was sitting listening at the Lord's feet while Martha was busy preparing the meal in the Gospel of St. Luke. Lord, hast thou no care that my sister hath left me alone to serve? Speak to her, therefore, that she help me. And the Lord answering said to her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful, and thou art troubled about many things. But one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the best part, which shall not be taken away from her. We we also find her questioning Jesus about the death of her brother Lazarus in St. John's Gospel. Here she comes to a deeper faith in the divinity of Christ. Martha, therefore, as soon as she heard that Jesus had come, went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha therefore said to Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother would not have died. But now also I know that whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God wilt give to thee. Jesus said to her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, although he be dead, shall live. And every one that lives and believes in me shall not die forever. Believeth thou this? She said to him, Yea, Lord, I have believed that thou art Christ, the Son of the living God, who art come into this world. The third instance is a reference to Jesus shortly before the Holy Week, when our Lord had supper at the house of Lazarus, along with Martha and Mary. He then stayed on as their guest that night. Jesus, therefore, six days before the Pasch, came to Bethany, where Lazarus had been dead, whom Jesus raised to life, and they made him a supper there, and Martha served, and Lazarus was one of them that were at the table with him. From there our Lord would leave to enter triumphant into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. That blessed family would therefore provide a place for our Lord to rest his head a short while before the most solemn week in the history of mankind. In her three reported encounters with Jesus, St. Martha represented the three ways of interior life. The purgative way is represented in the first encounter when Martha's soul was purified of her attachment to her own will by coming to recognize that the one thing necessary is doing the will of God. The illuminative way is symbolized when Jesus reveals himself to Martha before he raises Lazarus from the dead, and she responds showing her great belief that Christ is the Son of the living God. The unitive way is represented when Jesus stays in the home of his three friends. Not only does our Lord physically reside in Martha's home, but because she has been previously instructed, he finds in her soul a fit dwelling place through her contemplation of his presence. It is by doing God's will and receiving the illumination that comes after fidelity to that will that we are prepared for a similar gift to the one St. Martha symbolized. We see that Martha made a profound act of humility in accepting Jesus' gentle rebuke in St. Luke's Gospel. We often do the unthinkable act of questioning our Lord's wisdom or convincing ourselves that it is not the voice of God speaking to our souls when his answer is different than our wills. Imagine if after Jesus told Martha that only one thing is necessary, she had turned around and walked away, sad like the rich man who had many possessions. Like St. Martha, we should have the humility to face our own defects and then fight against them. Afterwards, our Lord will illuminate our souls, showing the way he chose for us to follow, and then we will start to be one with him, that is, united with him. The mystical union is a pretaste of the eternal happiness we will have in heaven, where he will be our reward exceedingly great.